Dr. Walker, and he's a physiatrist in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, what is it exactly that you do? Well, as a physiatrist, it's, uh, the other name for the specialty is physical medicine and rehabilitation. And so I treat patients that have uh, various uh, medical uh, issues that usually result in some type of disability. So somebody with a stroke, uh, somebody with head injury, spinal cord injury, perhaps an amputee. Um, some of the other problems I take care of are less significant as far as injury or disability, but those are the big ones that uh, maybe multiple sclerosis that mm -hmm. result in a person having a fairly substantial amount of disability. Mm -hmm. So after you're done treating your patient, you must have other professions that you utilize like occupational therapy or physical therapy or even rec therapy. How can these other um, areas benefit your patients? You know, I, as the medical doctor, I oversee the medical care of the patient, the diagnosis and workup and, and their ongoing medical care after they've moved usually from the medical floor onto a rehab unit and then follow them as an outpatient. But the physical therapist I work closely with as far as mobility and, and gait training, I work closely with occupational therapists as they help with the activities of daily living, um, kitchen skills, other hygiene skills, and then recreation therapy and as far as getting them integrated back into the community, mm -hmm. uh, back to doing hobbies and, and leisure pursuits that they would love to get back to doing and now they need to learn a new way of doing it. Uh -huh. Awesome. So how do you think, or what do you think rec therapy has to offer that the other two don't? Well, I, I think recreation therapy adds on to what PT and OT do. Um, they work with some of the basic skills of, uh, again, of movement and gait, training, mm -hmm. etc., and strengthening. <clears throat> the recreation therapist takes those skills and those strengths that the patient's developing and, again, teaches them how to go back into life so that they're not just a patient the rest of their life, but they really yeah. become a person. Um, whether it's teaching them how to fish again now with their non-dominant hand because they've had a stroke that affected the dominant side, teaching them how to ski, teaching them how to go you know, bowling, how to go to the mall, how to get around in the mall on a wheelchair. And so it, it's all these uh, ways of helping the person really get back to a, lo a fuller life that PT and OT help initiate that with the initial skills, but RT really takes them out into the community. Yeah, thanks. Um... <laughs> What, what do you think the future of rec therapy holds? I know there's, you know, some people don't think that it's as valuable as it should be. It's not always covered by insurance. Um, just the brutal facts, what do you think? Well, it, it's hard to know. With it's um, Yeah, I, I think that there's always a need. There's going to be a bigger need in the future simply because we're an aging country. And so with the baby boomers getting older and, and the life expectancy of people extending out, I think the need for recreation therapy will is certainly there and will increase in the future, mm -hmm. but as you mentioned, it's going to be more of a reimbursement issue, um, especially if government gets more and more involved in health care. I, I think that the, the role of RT is certainly significant, and yet with reimbursement issues, the activities, the leisure, those kind of issues tend to be the first to go. So I, I don't know. I think it's a little bit unpredictable right now. Okay, thanks. Um, do you have any advice for rec therapy students? Do you know, I, I, I guess it's, I think it's a good field. I think there's a need for it. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I don't know how to predict the future as far as job opportunities. Right now it's a, obviously a tough job market for anything mm -hmm. you do. Healthcare tends to be a good area and, and I think going forward healthcare is a good area whether it's working on a hospital rehab unit, whether it's working at a nursing home, uh, helping uh, people with activities. Or even these, you know, as people get older in the in senior citizen communities and uh, senior buildings where they go for activities, I think there's going to be opportunities, but I think rest or, or, uh, recreation therapists will need to do a little bit of creativity to try to make their way in the world and, and make a niche for themselves. Mm -hmm. But you as a doctor would say that you found that it is valuable to patients and their recovery, their ultimate recovery. I, I, I definitely would say that. And, and again, as a, as a rehab specialist, I work very closely with all, all therapists, and, and yet I think there's probably a, a huge number of medical doctors that don't even know who recreational therapists are or what they do. Mm -hmm. um, in my field, because I do deal with these kind of patients that have disability, I, I, it's a definite need. I've had patients that have gone out in the community after a stroke and literally learned how to fish with the other hand or learned how to you know, do some of these kind of things that brings joy to their life, and so it really brings this kind of a, a fuller life to a person rather than simply saying here now you can walk. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dr. Walker. You're welcome. <laughs>